I didn't think it was possible, but the developers of Deep Rock Galactic have actually made new secondary weapons that are even cooler than the old ones and are even more science fiction-y. Seriously, I didn't have very high expectations for the new weapons coming in Season 2. A lot of the standard weapons you see in every game have mostly been done in DRG by now. I thought we'd get some boring, generic weapons with the creativity well being just run completely dry. But what we're getting has me really excited to play and I already can't wait to see what else is coming in Season 2. In this video, I want to look more closely at the four new secondary weapons. Specifically, I want to look at whether they're most likely going to be wave clear or single target weapons. But what I really want to talk about is why these weapons have already blown away my expectations. The scout's new weapon looks like it might have some awesome overclocks. The gunner's new weapon looks like it could finally add some much needed utility for the class. The driller's new weapon looks like it might be what we've been waiting for for dreadnoughts. But the engineer's new secondary weapon in particular, I think could be one of the most versatile weapons in the game. The first secondary we were shown was the Nashanka Bolt Shark X80. Yes, that's the best I can pronounce it after like 50 tries. It's a crossbow for the scout and what we know is that it shoots bolts that you can pick up. Most likely you can only pick up bolts that you miss. This is the only one out of the new weapons that doesn't look like future tech though. It's just a normal crossbow, at least from what we've seen so far. Even though it doesn't look like much at first glance, this is one that I'm really looking forward to. The reason why I'm looking forward to this is because there's so many ways that Ghost Ship could make a crossbow just be so much fun to play with. Think about the different types of arrows that you could make as selectable mods or as overclocks. My first thought when I saw the Bolt Shark is Trick Arrows from Hawkeye and Marvel or Green Arrow in DC Comics. This will be a perfect way to use some of the existing tech that other classes have and share them with the Scout. Imagine a mod that lets you fire a special arrow that drops a neurotoxin gas everywhere. That would combo really well with Driller's Flamethrower and gunners using incendiary grenades. Now imagine an overclock that shoots a small fat boy like engineers have. Something that does huge cleave and wave clear is still something new that we haven't really seen from the scout, especially if that wave clear happens instantly like a mini fat boy does. What's a cool trick arrow that you think is coming or should be added? Try not to make it too overpowered or it probably won't happen. The second weapon we were teased was the arms core coil gun. This one, I'm actually not too sure what they plan on doing with it. It looks like another hand handgun like the bulldog, but you can charge a shot that goes through terrain. When I look at the magazine count on the weapon, you see charging up a shot consumes a bunch of the ammo. My first impression is that you can fire weaker shots, as well as charger shots like the driller's EPC. And since it does travel through terrain, I wonder if it actually is heavily inspired by the EPC. A weakness of the gunner class is that it's the worst at collecting minerals and mission objectives. Everyone else just does it better and faster. I wonder if the coil gun will have an overclock that helps detonate minerals like the EPC. PC does. If you play a ton of gunner, would you want an overclock like that for the coil gun? Would you want the coil gun to be like the driller's EPC? Other than that, I'm really not sure what direction they could take the coil gun into. We see in the teaser that it's definitely a single target weapon. It looks like it actually completely ignores the Praetorian's armor, or maybe it just does so much damage that it doesn't matter. I'm really looking forward to seeing what overclocks they have planned for the coil gun. It's either going to be another single target focused bulldog type weapon, or a hybrid weapon. I hope it'll have some needed utility for the gunner class, but being a single target weapon that can also do some wave clear would be really cool too. If you have any ideas of what overclocks you'd like to see on the coil gun, I'd love to hear them because I can't think of many potential overclocks myself, but I'm really excited to see what the developers plan on doing with it. Next is the driller weapon. It's called the Colette Wave Cooker. Out of all four weapons, I think this was the most perfectly named. It fires waves of energy that cook bugs like a microwave. From what we've seen so far, it looks more like a primary weapon than a secondary weapon. It also looks like it'll have similar wave clear to the flamethrower. My hope was that the drillers were going to get a single target secondary weapon. That's an area they don't typically specialize in, usually using the impact axe for boss damage. For wave clear, driller already has the flamethrower, the cryo cannon, the sludge pump, and someone could even argue thin containment field on the EPC is also for wave clear. What has me particularly interested in the wave cooker is what damage type it does. It looks like it could completely disregard the armor on bugs, since it's a wave of energy, not a physical projectile. I really hope that's the case because that would probably be really good against Dreadnoughts. The Sludge Pump is okay for the slow, but Dreadnoughts have damage resistances to all of the Driller's primaries. Hopefully the Wave Cooker doesn't. This is another weapon that I'm not too sure what they could do with for overclocks. Increasing the width of the wave so you hit more bugs sounds like an easy overclock to make. Charge shots could also be done, but I just can't really think of what else that they could do for the Wave Cooker. I'm confident they have some really good ideas for it 
judging by how great everything else looks. I'm really looking forward to seeing more of this as a driller main, but I hope there's more to it. From what we've seen so far, it looks like you just hold the trigger down and cook bugs kind of like the flamethrower already does. Next is the Engineer Shard Diffractor. It shoots a simple thin laser beam out, but I think it could be the most versatile new weapon we get. The beam we see in the teaser is pretty narrow. It looks like it can hit one, maybe two bugs at the same time. An easy overclock that would be really cool is a large beam that cleaves more enemies at the same time. I'm talking a Kamehameha size beam for wave clear. Something silly but awesome like that would get me playing Engineer a lot more. I've been kind of bored with NG for a while and the lock one didn't really scratch that itch for me. But this shard diffractor I think just might. The first thing I thought about was a massive beam but next I thought about the ice spear overclock on the cryo cannon. If you could hit your reload or charge up a shot on the diffractor, shooting out a highly concentrated beam that does a ton of single target damage would be so much fun. Also how many other people thought about Zarya from Overwatch when they saw this? What if there was some mechanic that you could do that increases the beam and the damage the beam does? Obviously making shields on yourself and your team wouldn't work in DRG. I think what I really want from Engineer is a weapon that has multiple build options that are just significantly different from one another. What I'm really looking for with a shard diffractor is an Engineer weapon that is a little bit more complex. The Warthog is either a spammy auto shotgun or a slower firing slug. Not much really changes with either though. The stubby SMG is great at what it does and I love running it but there's not much of a progression curve. What I mean is, is it's very easy to pick up and use it nearly at its peak performance. And then there's the lock one. The lock one really can only be used in short bursts on one to two bugs. Each of the engineer's weapons are good, but there's not really a skill or progression path with them. This is why I found engineer to be a little boring for a while now. A weapon that has a good progression or skill curve is the M1000 Classic. You can always spam it if you're a bad shot, but the better you get, the more deadly it becomes. Imagine you're using the shard diffractor. You're shooting its normal beam, taking out bugs, but then you see an oppressor spawn. What if you could fire a projectile that does large damage, but there's a one or two second cooldown in between those shots? Where it would get really fun is if you can fill that time in with the normal laser beam. Basically, you alternate between regular shots and charged projectiles. The skill or the fun with the weapon becomes mastering the uptime with the beam and the projectile for the most damage per second possible. Something like that is exactly what I want to see more of for Engineer in particular. The Engineer Shard Diffractor is the new weapon I want to see the most from. I really want a reason to play engineer more regularly and enjoy every second of my time. The scout's bolt shark I think can have some extremely creative overclocks that add a bunch of cool trick arrows. I can't wait to play that on the experimental build. For the gunner's coil gun, I need to see the overclocks before making a strong opinion on it. I'm confident the devs have some good ideas for it so it doesn't play exactly like the bulldog. I hope the driller's wave cooker adds some single target damage that drillers have been kind of weak at. In particular, I'd like to see it be good against dreadnoughts. But I'm curious though, out of the new secondary weapons, what's the weapon you think looks the coolest and what weapon do you think will have the best overclocks? I think the shard diffractor looks the coolest, but I think the bolt shark will have the best overclocks. Comment below which ones you like. If you want more content or if you just want to support the work I'm doing, check out patreon.com slash legionless. Thanks for watching.